What's up, everybody? Today we are going to look at some statistics and we're going to learn how to calculate the probability of getting some poker hands. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So it says, in a common form of five card draw poker, a hand of five cards is dealt to each player from a deck of 52 cards. Find the probability of being dealt the following hands. All right, so we want to know the probability of getting a heart flush. So that means we're going to have five hearts. Doesn't matter what numbers you have. You just got to know that you're getting five hearts. You can have a two, king, ten, nine, and a four. It, it doesn't matter the numbers. They just all have to be hearts. All right. So remember, probability is the number of successful outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So let's go ahead real quick and find the possible outcomes. How many different possible hands are there in a five card draw poker? How many different hands? All right. And, and this, this is the number of possible outcomes. So this is going to be the denominator. This is going to be the denominator of every problem that we work. So we've got some more to do too. All right, so the possible hands, all right, that's going to be a combination. You've got 52 cards, so that's going to be combination 52, and how many of those 52 cards are you choosing? You're choosing five of them, okay? So that's combination 52, choose 5. And I'm not going to put that in the formula or anything. You can punch that into your calculator. But that's going to be 2, 5, 9, 8, 9, 6, 0. So that's the total number of possible hands. Okay. 2,598,960. That's the number of possible hands. All right. Now we need the number of how many different heart flushes can you have? Okay. All right. So, so let's just go ahead and write this down. The probability of a heart flush okay so it's the number of successful outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes so remember the possible outcomes that's this that's this one right here that's in your denominator and we went ahead and did that out all right so what about the heart flush okay how many different ways can we get a heart flush? All right. So that's going to be a combination. So how many hearts are in a deck? Well, there's 13 hearts in a deck. And how many are we choosing? We're choosing five of them. And so that's it. Now, remember, we're using combination and not permutation. Okay, because think about it. Just think about the numerator of getting a heart flush. Okay, is it? Do we use combination? Is it thirteen choose five combination or thirteen choose five permutation? Well, it's a combination because the order that we get the cards in doesn't matter. I mean, just just say that you get five hearts and you get a two, a king, a three, a five, and a seven. Or let's say instead of dealing it to you in this order, you get a seven, a king, a two, a five, and a three. It's the same thing. Okay? It doesn't matter the order. So that means we're doing it's it's a combination. 
And so if we do combination 13 choose 5, that's 1,287 over the 2598960. And that is going to give us 0 0.000495. And that is your probability of getting a heart flush. Okay. All right. So now let's look at this. A flush of any suit. Okay. So, so let's think about this. This is going to be similar to the problem that we just worked. Now, some of you might be thinking, and if you're thinking this, you are correct. We could just take this probability and multiply it by four. And that would give you the answer. Okay. Because we found the probability of getting a heart flush, but we want to know the probability of getting a heart flush or a spade flush or a club flush or a diamond flush. Okay. It can be all diamonds, all hearts, all spades, or all clubs. That's a flush. Okay. So you could you could just take this and multiply it by four. But let's just let's do this. Let's let's do probability of a flush. I want to show you how to work it out. Okay. All right. So we know in the denominator we're going to have a combination 52 choose 5. Okay? Because that's the number of possible outcomes. Now, Let's, let's look at this. So remember to get any flush, we can have what? We can have a heart flush. So that's going to be combination 13 choose 5. Or now, if you're, if you're writing down and taking notes, don't write this down just yet. Or you can have a diamond flush which is 13 choose 5 over combination 52 choose 5. Or you can have a club flush, which is combination 13 choose 5 over combination 52 choose 5. Or you can have a spade flush, which is combination 13 choose 5 over combination 52 choose 5. Okay? So remember, when it asks for a flush of any suit, it can either be a heart, or a diamond, or a spade, or a club. And then you would add all those together. But you don't want to go through all of that. Notice you've got this plus this plus this plus this. Well, instead of writing all this out and adding them up, well, we've got, what, four of them. So couldn't we just say, oh, the, so the combination of getting a flush of one suit is combination 13 choose 5. But I've got four options, so I can do four times that, and then I wouldn't need to add all of these in there like that. Okay, does that? I hope that makes sense. And so this is going to give us four times, and then we already know what this is. This right here we just calculated right here, which that's times point zero 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 four nine five which is equal to point zero zero one nine eight and there's the probability of getting a flush all right all right so let's go to the next one a full house of aces and eights okay all right and and in this particular problem, they specify three aces and two eights. And don't worry, in the next example, it's any full house. Okay, but let's just look at this. Okay, so probability, full, full house, three aces and two eights. Okay. That's what we want. I'm just, I just kind of put a little description of what we're finding. All right. So we know we've got combination 52 choose 5. That's the total number of possible hands. Remember, 
We talked about that up here, possible hands. That's going to be our denominator because probability is number of successful outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. All right. So now in the numerator, what do we need? We need three aces and two eights. So how many different ways can we get three aces? Well, that's combination. Now, how many aces are there? There's four aces, and how many are we choosing? We're choosing three. Okay, so there's the number of ways to get three aces, and so we've got times, combination, and how many different ways can we choose two eights? Well, there's four eights, and we want two of them. And there it is. And so this is going to give us, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to go through and do all this. You can punch this into your calculator, but when you do, you get point one, two, three, four, five, nine, two, three. And there's your probability of getting a full house of three aces and two eights. All right. All right. Now, any full house. Okay, so what's the probability of just getting a full house? That means you're going to have three cards of one value and two cards of another. So in other words, you might have three fives and two sevens, or three twos and two kings, or three jacks and two tens. Okay? All right. So let's go ahead and we know what our denominator is. That's combination 52 choose 5. All right. So now what do we need? We need three cards of one value. So that means we need three twos or three threes or three fours or three fives three sixes, three sevens, three eights, all the way to three aces. Okay, we need any of those, but we need three of them. So, well, how many different ways can we pick three twos? Okay, well, just think about it. There's four twos, and we're choosing three of them. Okay, that's the number of ways we can get three twos. But we could also have three threes, or three fours, or three fives. Well, if you if you look at it, you've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, king, jack, queen, king, ace. There's 13 different cards, and we need three of one of those. So how many are there? There's 13 times the combination four, choose three because we can have the twos or the threes or the fours. It's the same, it's the same way that uh, I explained, where is it? This flush of any suit. Remember when we said this or this and we were adding them together and there was four of them. So we, instead of adding them together, we just said four times. Well, that's the same thing that we're doing down here. Okay. All right. So there's three cards of one value. And there's 13, there's it's four choose three, but we got 13 cards. And we need two cards of another value. So that's combination four choose two. Now, how many options do we have there? Well, here it's going to be times 12. Now, why is it times 12? Well, because think about it. You already have three of one card. So there's no way you're going to get two of them on this one. So in other words, if you have, if you have, let's say you have three fives. Well, there's no way you're going to get two fives, but you can get two of the of any of the other ones. But there's only twelve of them left because the fives are gone, and so that's why you're multiplying that times twelve, and then this is equal to point zero zero one four four.
All right, and this is your answer. Now, let's think about this. Let's, let's look and see what we found here. So, so which hand is better in poker? Is a flush better or is a full house better? You ever wonder about that? Why is this hand better than this one? Well, let's, let's look at it. What's the probability of a full house? Okay, a full house, the probability is 0 0.001144. And the probability of a flush, what was the probability of a flush? It was 0 0.00198. Do you see how this probability here is higher than this probability? See, a flush has a better probability than a full house. The probability of getting a full house is less than the probability of getting a flush, so that would make the full house a better hand because it's harder to get. All right? So I hope this video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see you all in the next one. Later.